Okay, welcome to my crafting show. Let's have lots of fun. We're gonna turn my notifications off so you don't get a bunch of beeps and buzzes and all that jazz. So I'll wait for people to get in here. We're gonna start tagging people. No. Okay, Shelby's in here. I need, I need to tag Emily. Guest request. Hi, Chris. Somebody tag Emily and somebody else go ahead and tag Chris. Okay, Emily's in here. Emily, just start tagging people. Chief asshole's back. I'm back. Oh, thanks, Shelby. Thanks. So we're doing DIY glittered vinyl because I hate working with Cricut glitter vinyl because this shit's the devil. Um, so I did my own, made my own glitter vinyl for this cup and we're actually gonna be doing some cow spots because cows are very much so um, in. But yeah, this one says treat others the way Chick-fil-A treats you. Oh, what? We have a cup of water. Can you give me a few minutes, please? Yes. Do I look a little busy? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Can you like go chill, please? That sounds like it's Emmett and I'm in the middle of something right now. But if you just let him cry it out, he'll be fine. Lil, go upstairs now, please. Thank you. Oh, children. Lily, just go, please go upstairs. Oh my God, why do I have so many children? Anyhow. Cricut glittered vinyl is the devil, and I'll show you why. It is worse than Mod Podge. This stuff is thin, it is flimsy, and it rips super easy. So when you're weeding and trying to pull all of this up, when you're doing really fi like fine detail or not so fine detail, this shit rips so damn easy that you're gonna completely ruin your project. So, Instead of using this, and sometimes this, the glittered vinyl actually bleeds color when it's under epoxy. So we want to avoid that. Away with the vinyl. Anyhow, so I have, I pre-cut these. So we're going to weed it. I'm going to tilt you guys down. We're going to weed it. And um, there are three different ways that you can apply adhesive to this. You can do Mod Podge, you can use Tacket, you can even use spray adhesive. And I'm gonna use Mod Podge today because I don't wanna go outside and spray. So I'm gonna tilt y'all down so you can see the workspace. And I can still see comments too, so y'all are good. But luckily with these cow spots, they're big enough to where I can just kinda like pop them down when I come to them and they stick to the, my, my, um, my backing. So this is easy. This is the easiest way to do glitter vinyl in the whole world. And I promise you, you will thank me for it later. Especially when you have a project, you're like, damn, I want to put glittered vinyl down. And then you go, shit, I don't have any. Now you will. Now you very much so will. Okay, so we got these cow spots. I'm going to utilize, where the fuck is it? Where, where in the world did it go? It's over here, I think. Is my Mod Podge music? Yep. We're gonna use some Mod Podge, paintbrush, this, and I'm gonna use some black vinyl. This is similar to, it's a holographic black, very much so similar to NYX on the, on the website. Hi, Janine. Okay. I always shake my Mod Podge bottle because you don't need a lot when doing this. Um, and I just use the remnants that are on the cap. And all I'm gonna do is use my paintbrush and just paint. Paint the adhesive onto the vinyl. That's all you're gonna do, it's simple. It's so simple, my five-year-old could do it. And just make sure you have nice, even strokes. I'm probably gonna do a couple at a time. Hmm. 
Okay, and then once that's kind of tacky, which if you do a nice, a nice even strokes, it's gonna be. Oh, I missed you too. Um, so if your strokes are nicely even, it gets tacky real quick. But the tackier it is, the better the glitter sticks. And Mod Podge is one of those things where if you put too much down, your glitter is gonna absorb all of that liquid and then it turns into this hot mess. And no one likes a hot mess. And I'm just gonna turn this over and tap, tap, tap. And then as you can see, there are spots on here that need to, I need to go over it again. And I'm gonna let that Mod Podge dry completely before going back over. More Mod Podge. And normally I'd be really concerned about like cross contamination of my glitter and my Mod Podge because I do a lot of fabric tumblers, but this is like the, the last of this Mod Podge so I'm not going to care as much. <laughs> I have a giant thing of it that's just for doing my fabric and sealing fabric so I don't have to deal with the cross-contamination issues that a lot of people end up with. This is brilliant. It's easy too. See in that one you got nice coverage on that one. Where is shit? Where is it? This one right here. So I'm gonna go grab my a dry brush real quick. Any dry brush will do. And just so you can see, here. I'll grab one of these. Yeah. You could even do the tacket method with this too. Put put some tacket down, and then um, and then apply your your glitter and rub it down. But yeah. Now you have glittered vinyl. I can even put it on my Mod Podge or something. And all you're gonna do is take it. And so at this point, after I have applied, after I've put glitter and Mod Podge down, I would seal it with Rust-Oleum 2X so none of this glitter has travel or movement. And that's the most important thing because when you go to place, let's say you place your little cow spot down and then you put epoxy over this white, white glitter with your little uh, cow spots on there, you're gonna get so much glitter travel if you do not seal this. So I would suggest sealing it maybe tw two times. Three times just to be safe, but two times at the very least. But yeah, that's super duper easy. Easy glitter vinyl. And just plop it onto whatever you need it on and you got glitter vinyl. Make sure you're using a, um, a, a vinyl that's the same as your base color or else it'll be real difficult. Um, if all you have is a white vinyl, you can also tint your Mod Podge with paint, with a little bit of acrylic paint, and then, um, ooh, goodness gracious, with a little bit of acrylic paint, and then place your glitter after you've painted the acrylic and Mod Podge. It's so much easier, so much easier. And I, I know a lot of people that struggle with like leopard spots and this is what they do because they have a really hard time getting the shapes they want. So they just cut out leopard spots and then pre-glitter them. Any questions, concerns, comments? You're welcome.
Well, if that's all, I'm going to let you guys go. Get on with your evening. I'm going to get on with my evening. I got a baby crying upstairs. But, um, please, if you, if there's anything you want to see live, just shoot me a message and I will make it happen. If there's ever a cup that you want to see done live, shoot me a message and I'll either make it happen or we'll destroy a cup in the process. I'm always down to mess up a cup. But I'm going to let y'all go. Um, and then I'm going to go take care of this kid and get some orders rolling. But I hope this was helpful for some people. Oh, Emily, I need to get with you because I have a really good idea for a leopard print cup that I want to do live. If you're cool with it. I love lep I love leopard print. I'm a I'd sell my soul for leopard pot le leopard spots. <laughs> my brain doesn't work this late at night, guys. It just doesn't work. Whew, I've been off my live schedule for like months. But anyway, if you want to live, feel free to go ahead and private message me. I will always look at everything um, that you send. And if it looks like something that's feasible, I will either find an answer for you or I will figure it out. Or I'll jack it up in the process and we'll figure it out ourselves. Okay, I will. Um, I'm trying to think here. I'm also a Tumblr mentor in this group. So if you are having issues with your tumblers, you're having issues with the process, or if you're just new and starting out and you have questions, feel free to come to me. I'm really pro approachable. I'm easy to get along with. I'm not, I mean, they call me chief asshole, but I'm not really an asshole. So, um, yeah, just get with me and we'll figure out your tumbler situation and I'll help you. You need some HP help, like Hew like Hewitt Packard, because I, I don't know Hewitt Packard. HP help? Janine, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. So if you're just joining in, we've already done this part. Um, it's, it's basically done. <laughs> and you'll have to go ahead and catch the replay when we post it. The replay will all will be linked to the event section. Click on the event and you'll see the live video re replay. Oh, heat press. Heat press? So, I, I mean, I'm... I, I'm an IT kid, so I'm just like, Hewitt Packard, I'm confused. I mean, I might be able to help you with heat press. Her Harry Potter, you need Harry Potter help. Like, reading it or making a cup? I'm confused. Like I said, my brain is not working, Janine. It's not working. At all. I'm so confused. Anyhow, I'm finally going to let y'all go. Jesus. HP. It's always going to be Hewitt Packard. I'm sorry. Um, Janine, just shoot me a message. Or even better yet, yeah, just call me. You've called me before. Glittering the vinyl is the best idea, Janine. It's so easy. Oh my god, this is so cold on my head. It feels good. Anyhow, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm tired. Ooh, ooh. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm hangry. I got a book to read. I got tumblers I got to work on, so I got to decide book, tumblers, book, tumblers. But anyhow, I will schedule another live. If there is a tumbler you want to see made live, send me an inspiration photo and we will make it start to finish live. I mean, I'm always looking for a challenge. So feel free to send them my way. All right. Good night, guys. It was wonderful seeing y'all again.